Drang, 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 bam, 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 drang, 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 bam, 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 bam. Uh, I am Paladin. He welcome to Pikmin. Uh, we're on day 10. I got four parts yesterday, and we're getting three parts today, and we are going into the distant spring. Just wait. Three, two, one. I hope your ears are not bleeding. From my singing, where I cannot rhyme at all. I hope if you're, you're wearing headphones that you have health insurance and possibly life insurance too. Okay, let's just head in. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Pikmin. Yesterday we got four parts and I had a very surprisingly easy time. Well, it was easy, but it was hard considering I had done like... 20 takes of that day um, and we only lost 10 Pikmin and that was good especially because those 10 Pikmin were because of glitches now today le let me just take a moment look at this distant spring three shit parts left wow that feels good okay uh, starting off today we're going to want about 45 45 50 Pikmin for the uh, armor Cannon Beetle, you may have seen him on the corner of the screen at times uh, during yesterday and the day before. Uh, so we want a, a good number of reds for him. Also so we can carry his remains and also the ship part. Mostly the ship part, because we, we're pretty good with numbers. Now, we have to defeat three bull bears in this area and a puffy blowhog. So uh, that's, that's going to be hard. This, we just need one, 10 yellow Pikmin. So that's fine. And for this, we need... Um, but we need 20 blues, at least 20. So I'm going to be taking out 40 blues. Actually, 35 blues. There we go. Here are these. And then I'm going to be taking out 15 yellows. I only need 10, but in case 5 of them die, then I will be fine. Hopefully just 5 of them die and not uh, 6, because that would be bad. And uh, for the rest, I'm going to get 50 reds. Actually, no, you know what? No. 45 reds. Actually, 40... 40 reds. Yeah, 40 reds. I think that's better. 40 reds, and then the last 10 will be blues. I think that works. So once I take out all these, I'll show you my numbers. And here we go. Okay. We have... There we go. We have... Wait. There we go. We have 45 blues, 15 yellows, and 40 reds. So that's what our numbers look like in case you're playing along with me. Now, I've tried in practice to take out that blowhog first, but what I found is better is to take out the bull bear first, and he's dead, and then move along and then gang up on the, uh, the blowhog. That works the best I've found, because there, he's dead. Uh, he's almost dead. There we go, he's dead. So that works the best I've found, because otherwise, if you try to take out the blowhog, because the bull bears are so tightly spaced, um, you'll end up accidentally touching one of the bull bears, and you'll lose Pikmin. So, yeah. This guy is kind of hard, though he's not that hard. He's backed up against a wall, but he isn't backed up, up far enough that would make it be hard. Now, this guy, let's go ahead and bring him to the ground and swarm him. And that was actually very convenient, because he came to me. Okay, he's dead. He came to me, so yeah, I was actually going to go out looking for him, but that was very convenient. Now, um, we have Blowhog over there, but let's go and take out care of this bull bear. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Good. And no glitch deaths. That's very good. Now, um, I'm actually going to do this first. Let's see. So we need one of our reds. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our... Oh, that, was, that startled me half to death. The music, where it picked up right there with like a very high note, I thought those were like a bunch of Pikmin screaming for their lives. That was scary as as dirt. Dirt can be scary, don't don't question me. Alright, uh, what we want to do is we want to place all these Pikmin on the gate. And then what we want to do is while they're working on that, we want to go around here and let's grab these and dismiss them right here. And we want to grab the reds and go around and defeat the, uh, the armored cannon beetle. 
Now, we faced these guys before, but I think that we're going to have a better time with that with this guy. Come here. Turn around. Turn around. Don't be don't be scared even though I'm about to end your life. Okay. Uh whoa. Um Okay, there. There there there. Okay. I just had to throw Pikmin into his thing, whatever that is, his nose, I guess. I and we can take him out. I think this will do him in. No, it won't. Okay. Whistle everyone. And he'll circle around, and he'll try to hit us again. Whoa! Okay, there we go, and he's dead. Uh, whistle. There we go. Uh, let me claw the GameCube remote, and he's dead. There we go. That was very easy, and we have discovered the bow sprit. With this piece installed, my ship should regain some of its sleek shape. And that was very fast, and that worked out very well. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to put all of these red Pikmin onto this bridge. And then we want to come with these guys, and we want to, while they're doing that, we want to grab uh, the other ship part. Let's go ahead and flower as many as we can. There we go. That worked. We got six. That's good. Six is, six is actually very good. Don't question it. It is very good. Okay. Let's go ahead and put all of the blues to carry something. Uh, we'll have them carry these pellet posies and also that bull bear. There we go. And... We're going to have ten, five carry this. There we go. And eight carry this. And eight carry this. There we go. There we go. And while they're doing that, we will go ahead and have this guy help carry that. There we go. Now we're going to have the yellows. While the reds are taking care of that bridge and the blues are um, harvesting some stuff, we're going to throw put some yellows up there, over there. We're going to have ten of the yellows go over here. And carefully walk up there. Come on. Okay. And we're just going to do some platforming. Yes, platforming in a Pikmin game. Now, you can maneuver your Pikmin around there, and I have done that, but I believe the designers designed these little two, uh, crannies? No, these would be nooks, definitely. Um, nooks for a reason. They want you to just throw them over that divider and walk around yourself. Now, let me angle the camera right like this, and let me come in like that. There we go. And that is... Oh, man. Lame. Okay, just a second. Let me throw these Pikmin up here and throw these Pikmin right here and go around. That is the UV lamp. I know... Oh, come on. I know for a fact that is not required. I'm pretty sure it's not required. And you guys do that. And let's walk around here and come around here. Things are going very, very well. I'm doing very good multi-management or micromanagement. That's the term. So the UV lamp... Let us bio it once it falls down here. Whee! Okay. I found my UV lamp. The only problem with this handheld light is that it can be too bright at times. I have to remember to wear my sun visor whenever I look into it. It's very pretty. Also, I thought it made a noise. Huh. I thought it made a noise, but whatever. And it's amazing that it doesn't have a power source, and yet it's retained enough power to keep on being lit. That's really neat. Alright, there are reds, and we can have them carry the bow sprit. I believe uh, 30 Pikmin are needed to carry that part. So, yeah, let's see. How many does this need? If that's 10, I'll be happy. Oh, 30. Okay. Well, let's put all of them on the bow sprit, then come back for... Yeah, let's do that. We'll put all of them on the bow sprit, and then we'll come back for the armored cannon beetle with another co color of Pikmin. Because we have enough time left in this day that we can do some uh, harvesting. And the UV lamp is back. There it is. And it doesn't appear on the ship. Our ship's looking very put together. I really like that. Especially with the, the egg beater spinning around. UV lamp. This handy light is great for tanning. But it doesn't seem to have any relation to the dolphin's flight capabilities. I doubt that it'll affect my escape from this planet. Perhaps there are other parts like this as well. 26 of 30. Okay, that that is a good segue into something I've been meaning to talk about, and that is required ship parts. If you notice that um, I have not mentioned which what is required and not required, really, I haven't really done it while, like, verbally. I've always done it with a text box, and the reason for that is is that I didn't really feel the need to do that because there are only five parts in this entire game that aren't mandatory mandatory for you to get. So I didn't feel like it was actually really worth it to say it 
verbally because it would just get really um it get really repetitive with me just saying oh this is mandatory this is mandatory this is mandatory every single episode so that's why i didn't okay this and that there we go and let's go ahead and kill this guy since we have the pikmin right here okay you cannot escape me unless you do um please don't make me make a mess let me claw the gamecube remote there we go this will work he's down to the ground and swarm uh let me whistle up my pikmin and we'll get the bow spread okay i'll get interrupted that's one thing i i have against this game is that it seems to inter it does interrupt you with um these cutscenes a lot so sometimes it can get really uh, bothersome bow spread the so-called face of the dolphin in point of fact i designed it Oh, that's really neat. It's probably the most notable part of the ship because it flashes. And... Oh! Oh, wow! I didn't notice this. And actually, this is my theory. Okay, you see how it's flashing pink there? I wonder if that's because of the UV lamp. I wonder if you get these out of... No, wait. Yeah, I wonder if you get these out of order if it won't flash like that. That's neat. I wonder if that is a thing. Uh, and 27 to 30. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and speed throw onto this guy as he's coming up. And not throw our yellow Pikmin into the water. Come on. As soon as I said that, he can't, He went in the water. Oh, come on. Come on. Good boy. Okay, he's dead, and that's good. Well, yes, I'm very happy that he's dead. And let me go ahead and grab these Pikmin. And there we go. And let me do this. Um, this is a little bit of a break, but let me explain what I'm doing here. Um, I'm getting the other ship part. We are going to harvest some stuff, but I want to do this first. Okay, we have about 20 Pikmin up there. Um, I didn't explain this, but this mechanic I don't think before. These are candy pop buds. Um, you throw a Pikmin, any color Pikmin, into it, and they will turn those Pikmin into the color of the candy pop bud. So it's turning these blue Pikmin into yellow Pikmin, and that is required to get this last ship part in this area. And this, I'm going to throw this Pikmin down here. There we go. And, okay, let's click these. So, this is a yellow candy pop... Uh, sorry, it's not called the yellow candy pop bud. It's called a golden candy pop bud. Uh, the, the names of the colors are not quite what we call Pikmin. So, yeah. Now, that one over there, it is a blue candy pop bud. It transforms them into blue Pikmin, but it's not... Oh, man. Okay. It's not actually called a blue candy pop bud. It is called a lapis lazuli candy pop bud. Okay, those guys almost got me. Now, this is the, once it's close enough for me to bio it, and once I can throw the Pikmin actually up here. Uh, there we go. This is the, da 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 da, once it gets close. This is the, Kronos Reactor. Which is a nice little shout out to Chrono Trigger. Because that has time travel, and if you read, if you let me read this, I will, you'll see the similarity. Using strange new technology, this machine is able to warp the space-time continuum and turn it into energy. I'm constantly amazed about how many mysteries are locked inside the parts of this ship. So, it's basically eating time and turning it into fuel. Um, pretty soon I think that the, that's gonna, there's going to be some backlash from that. Alright, we just have to turn them back to blues. Whistle everyone else. It can do 10 Pikmin at a time. So, yeah... You can just do this in two rounds. Now let me pluck these Pikmin. And mash A. There we go. And I can pluck these Pikmin. And there we go. This is the last ship part of the day. And the rest of the day we can focus on uh, harvesting enemies. Alright. Here are our Pikmin. And let me pluck them all. And I can't do the C stick while I'm plucking. But that would be really useful if I could. Okay. Here are 20. And let's swarm them all onto the Kronos Reactor. Again, it's a nice little shout-out to Chrono Trigger. And which way are they carrying it? Because if they're carrying it along those wa near those water dumples, I'll defeat them. No, they're not. Good. The designers made this little alleyway just so you could do that. Very good. Okay, let's grab our yellows, and we don't have enough Pikmin to harvest that guy. So, let's do this. Whistle these guys. And let's grab some more Pikmin so we can harvest that. And there's a red candy pop bud up there. I don't know why you'd want it. But it's there. It's actually, it's a crimson candy pot bud. It, it is not called a red, once again. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, let's see, we need yellows, and I want yellows. So, I'm actually going to take out 
I'm going to put away some reds. I'll put away 20 reds. 15, that's good. And I'll grab yellows, because I want the, uh, the, the armored cannon beetle to go to the yellows. So let's grab 15 yellows and go harvest that. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let me do that again. I'm going to put all my reds away. Uh, no, I need 20. There we go. I need 20. And let me put all of my blues away. Because I, the rest of the Pikmin that I get today, I will they will be yellows. There we go. And let me get some yellows out. There we go. And I actually... <laughs> LOL. Just a second. Sorry. <laughs> I need 20. I need 20, uh... Reds here. There we go. Uh, 20 reds. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. I'm, I are very confused. Let's go. Now we have enough Pikmin, and let's go this way. Uh, what, what I want the reds for is to carry the yellow, uh, pellet posy. The yellow 20 pellet posy. Over to, um, out in the clear. So the yellows can get at it. Oh, it's a, tw it's a 10, so I only need 10 reds. Okay. Let's go ahead and swarm it, and once- OW! I was just gonna say that the that the reds can touch it, touch fire, but we can't. Ow. That really hurts, okay. Um, actually I didn't- yeah, I did, okay. Uh, let me go ahead and intercept it and put ten yellows on it. And then we can- Whoa! What? Whoa! Do you guys see that? That was so cool! Okay, well, I know what I'm putting the reds on now. That startled me. Okay, what what happened, if you guys didn't notice, well, if you guys are a little bit confused on that, is what had happened, and let me whistle you. Um, what had happened is the, um, the... Actually, no, I don't even know what happened. No, okay, the Blowhog that we had killed a long time ago, he actually didn't drop what he was supposed to drop until now, because we apparently cycled off screen upon killing him, so it delayed the item drop. That's c so cool. Kronos Reactor. This reactor changes permutations in the space-time continuum to pure energy. Basically, it's like a big rubber band. Okay, so it's not eating, sp eating time, it's just uh, eating fluctuations in time, and actually... Uh... Snap. Okay, we need uh, four. One more. There we go. Perfect. We have just enough. Okay, let me hurry and I can grab this cannon beetle. Hopefully I have enough time. Come on, Pikmin. This is for your family. Okay. I act like I'm actually encouraging them, but they can't hear me at all. I wish they could. You. There we go. Carry that. And let me go grab some more Pikmin to help carry that, because that's going to take a little while. Okay, hurry, the countdown's gonna come any second now. Any second. Okay, let me grab some Pikmin. Hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just whistling him. We didn't get it, but that's fine. Okay, I'll swarm Pikmin on this. There we go. Uh, let me grab that armor cannon beetle before it's too late. Before it's too late. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, there it is. Whistle! Okay, yeah, they wouldn't have gotten there in time. Okay, stragglers? One straggler over there. Okay, come on, guys, come on. Uh, I can't, I can't go to the map, I can't go to the map, I can't go to the map. No, he's gonna die. Ah! Well, I left one behind. In fact, that was the only death I've had today. Wow. Okay. So we got three ship hearts today, and only lost one Pikmin. And actually, you know what? This is the very first Pikmin we've ever left behind. So let's let's go ahead and watch this cutscene to see his demise. And it's funny, because he was right next to base, so Olimar would have had to walk by him. But instead, he's the first Pikmin left behind. Sorry, buddy. Ten days since impact. The Pikmin that I did not bring back to the Onion all vanished overnight. It may be that they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures. An ugly thought. Perhaps that is why they follow me into the atmosphere. I'm starting to grasp the cycles of life on this planet. It's about time. Alright, so we had... Wait. 
Oh, that's funny. Okay, it says that we lost um, a bunch of yellows, but that's because of the candy pot buds, how we cycled that through. That's that's cool. Okay, so we lost no Pikmin in battle. We sprouted 85 Pikmin today, and we have... And we lost one due to just me not realizing. So... We have 180 reds, 102 yellows, 169 blues. We have 28 ship parts. We have two sh ship parts remaining. Yes, two. And 20 days to get them in. Wow. That's really good. So, I release new episodes of Pikmin uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And Skyward Sword, which is probably over by now, but... In case it isn't, because I'm still recording it, I'll, I'll say it anyway. I released that uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And Saturdays are long episodes. Not so much now that the LP is ending, but yeah. So, next time on Pikmin, we are going to get the last ship part that is available to us. And that is in the crash site. So we're going to return to where all this started. And I'm going to show a, a bonus enemy. And yeah, actually... You know what? This episode isn't quite over. Um, if you'll stick with me for a moment. I, I know I'm stretching this a little bit long, but stretch with me for a moment. I'm going to save, okay? And I don't want to do this in an actual day. Just just bear with me. Return to title screen. Okay, um, I said that I wanted to cover the Smoky Prog at a different time. Now, because... This and the next two days are going to be actually bonus days. I'm going to start it off right now, and you can see how I work things. So let me go to day 10, the backup file, and I'm actually going to head into... Yes, I, I'm sorry for keeping you long, but I'm going to cover this now. Okay, the distant spring. Land in this region? Yes. Now, you'll see that it, we have three parts left. I'm not getting those. I'm just going to get the Smoky Prog and defeat him. I'm just doing this in a bonus thing because... I can't defeat him without losing hundreds of Pikmin. So, I'm going to defeat him honorably. You can defeat him with Bomb Rocks without losing any Pikmin, though that takes too long. I'm going to give you guys a good battle. So, we're going to get all red Pikmin, except for one. Actually, no, all red Pikmin, that's fine. Okay, all red Pikmin. Now, I'm going. how I'm going to do this is the Smoky Prog will home in on your onions. So, let me get everyone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my main squad into three squads of about 30. So, uh, that will be 70, 65. There we go. And the other one will bring it down to 30. And that will be right here. There we go. And the other one will be right here. This will be the squad I immediately run to. Actually, let's go ahead and have these guys pluck this, and I'll leave these Pikmin here. Okay, now, let me go wake up the Smoky Prog. Again, if you guys had other plans to watch something else, I'm sorry, but I'm covering this now. So, Smoky Prog. There, here's his egg. You do not have to attack it. I, I used to think that that was a thing, but you just touch it, and he will hatch. Now, he appears on... Okay, sorry for the cut there. I just had to look out where when he shows up. He, um... He shows up on or de or before, whoa, day 15. And all you have to do is touch the egg and he will be released. Now, he will head, he'll make a beeline straight for the onion. Uh, let me make sure you won't intercept my, my other squad. Will he? No, he's making a turn, okay. So let me grab my squad that should have flowered themselves by now. Good, they did. And let me go ahead and flower the rest of them. Okay, there he is. Oh boy. Okay, now I have a strategy. I've actually looked this up online of how to defeat the Smoky Prog. Okay, what he's going to do is go to your onion. Do not get in his path. Just wait till he gets to your onion. And then, as soon as he starts to roar... Oh, no. You speed throw beneath his chin, right like this. Now you whistle, and then you throw again. Now he will shake again, and you can throw... Nope! Okay, well, apparently he wanted to move. Run, run, run. Okay, I have did a fair bit of health. You just throw under his chin, and he'll shake a couple times. Then you can throw again. Now he's turning back around. Is he going to roar again? If he is, I will hit him again. 
All right, this is me taking on the Smoky Frog. Don't make a beeline for my backup. Oh wait, my back. This is my backup group. Okay, he's going to go back to the onion. Good. Let me do this and speed throw on his chin. He'll shake. Speed throw on his chin. He'll shake or not, and he'll continue walking. Okay. I'm doing a fair bit of work now. If you remember yesterday, no, two days, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. Um, I accidentally woke him up and he took me by surprise, but this is actually much easier because I am expecting him. Now he's going to seek me out. Is he going to roar? Is he going to roar by one of my onions? It looks like he isn't. So let me go ahead and speed throw onto him. There we go. Ow! Okay. Well, the, that there goes my uh, zero death run. Okay. Um, let me take out my next squad. Oh, there he is. He's roaring. Okay, under his chin. There we go. Shake. And throw. Shake. Or run. Are you gonna run? Okay, you're just gonna run. Now, I lost 30 Pikmin. Not nearly as bad as before. I hope to get a zero death run, but that's fine. I'm actually not actually keeping this day, so that's fine. Actually, you know what? I'm, g I'm grabbing my next squad. Alright. Okay. Here he comes. Is he going to roar at my onion? There we go. He's going to shake. Whoa! Ow! Well, I lost half my squad. I hope he's happy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to do that. Okay. There are my Pikmin. Good. Now, is he going to roar? Yes, he is. Good. Good, and this is actually going to take him out. Good. I lost some Pikmin, but he is dead, and I only lost 50. Well, I lost more than 50, but I lost some. So, there he is. The Smoky Prog. I got to show it, and I'm sorry if I took you by surprise, but I decided to show it. Alright, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my Pikmin away, except... Or not. Wait. Sorry. Alright, sorry for the cut there. I just had to uh, put all my Pikmin away. So, oh, you need three Pikmin for this, okay. One and two. Okay, he didn't pick any up. Let me throw all of them onto this pearl. And, ugh. All right, sorry about that, ugh. Okay, now he's gonna carry, they're gonna carry all of these in, and let me put away all three of my Pikmin, and you guys get to see what defeating the Smoky Prog gives you. There it is. There it is, guys. Look at that. That is 100 Pikmin. The Smoky Prog, after defeating him, your reward is 100 Pikmin on the dot. Now, if you can manage to lose any less than 100, that's actually a very good reward, because you could get 40 in return. So, 100 Pikmin. Here's the circle of victory, guys. So, with Out of the Way and my revenge against the Smoky Prog... Uh, fulfilled. I will see you guys tomorrow for another Pal Place Pikmin, where I will show another bonus enemy and get the last ship part. One of the last. The last. One of the last two. All right. See you guys then. And now you have to pluck all these.